NJC Church Online celebrates one year, near to 500k packages distributed on Global Youth Day 2021. Happiness in Jesus Gospel Series begins this Sunday night, and NJC Education Mediathon comes up next weekend. I'm Jermaine Johnson. Welcome to the NJC Focus. The details after the break. Stay tuned. Hello there, I'm Ty Gibson. You're watching NJC Focus. Stay tuned. Approximately one year ago when church doors were shuttered due to the pandemic, North Jamaica Conference launched NJC Church Online on Sabbath, March 28, 2020. And this weekend is the anniversary. Let's take a look at where we started and where we've come. So what we have is that God has given a timetable, given us significant events in history. So as we see these events fulfilled, we see where the papacy is now being established in 508 BC. Born a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. This is the North Jamaica Conference Sabbath live stream today, March 28, 2020. We're very happy that we have come to the time when we can hear a word from God through sermon. With us today, to lift up Jesus before us, to remind us of the great hope we have in him and the claims of God on our lives, is the man of God. He currently serves North Jamaica Conference as our communications director, our education director, and also our music ministries director. Also, he serves as the pastor of the Brownstone District of Seventh-day Adventist Churches. We are extremely happy to invite you to come to share God's words today, Pastor Jermaine Johnson. We'll be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort ye one another with these words. But for us to secure our place in God's everlasting kingdom, we must ensure that we have a relationship with Jesus Christ. A special reflection program takes place next Sabbath, even as we continue to celebrate our online ministries from 200 subscribers to almost 9,000 subscribers besides thousands of followers on Facebook as we continue to spread the everlasting gospel using technology. We thank you for your support over this year. Several churches across St. Anne and Trelawney dispersed across various communities to distribute care packages to take care of the needs of the vulnerable. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Just as Jesus showed that he cared for us, we are showing that we care for you also. So, let's go. Today is Global Youth Day, and instead of our youths going out into different communities, they stay within their communities and give out care packages and give their services to persons within their communities. Global Youth Day! Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King. 
My name is Tavon Thomas. I'm the pastor of the Otrius District of Seventh Day Adventist Churches. In the Otrius District, we not only believe in the preaching of the gospel, but we believe in the rescuing of the perishing and caring for the dying. On Sabbath, March 20th, which was celebrated as Global Youth Day, and also on Wednesday, March 24th, the Ochre Seventh Day Adventist Church was involved in distribution of packages to 69 persons. These persons were not only members of the church, but also members of the community. We gave away groceries and also toiletries. I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, to get involved in sharing not only the gospel, but to share what we have to people in the community during this time of need. God bless you. Despite the pandemic, the youth of the St. Anne's Bay District of Seventh-day Adventist churches were still in high gear for Jesus as they took to the streets to be the sermon on Global Youth Day 2021, held on Sabbath, March 20. The communities of Lime Hall, Mommy Bay, Civil Heights, Lewis, and St. Anne's Bay were all impacted as these young people, though few in numbers, went out to sheer care packages and Adventist literature with the less fortunate. Youth Ministries Director of North Jamaica Conference, Pastor Amiel Somerville, reacts to the happenings for Global Youth Day. Global Youth Day was a blessing and I was so proud to see the young people sending in all their pictures and videos of them being brave and bold to help to mitigate or fight against the uh, pandemic that is upon the land, distributing their care packages. I'm pleased to let you know that we would have distributed uh, to date over $250,000 worth uh, of valuables in care packages as well as we would have seen our young people distribute over 400 care packages and we praise God for that. I want to encourage our young people and our youth leaders to continue serving and continue being bold and being brave for Jesus Christ as we continue to reach out. The NJC Education Department Mediathon event comes up on Sunday, April 4 at 4 p.m. on all NJC online platforms and NCU TV. The event is meant to raise 10 million Jamaican dollars or 70,000 U.S. dollars towards the Sennans Behind Preparatory and the Falmont SDA Preparatory Schools under the theme, I Will Go for Christian Education. And you are invited to make your special pledges at tinyurl.com slash NJC Education or to reach out to us at at any of the mediums are provided on the flyer. We look forward to your fulsome support. To mark the anniversary of NJC Church Online on March 28, which is this Sunday, NJC presents Happiness in Jesus Gospel Series. Several lay preachers, to include Elder Dane Ellis, Elder Christine Shand, and Elder Randall Duncans, will be preaching the everlasting gospel on all NJC platforms. And we're inviting you to be there. A blessing awaits you. Pastor Morgan Lewis, Personal Ministries Director of North Jamaica Conference, tells us more. Hello. This is just a reminder that March 28 to April 17, three weeks of dynamic preaching under the theme Happiness in Jesus, right there on the, the, the NJC platform. Come on here, Evangelist Dane Ellis, Evangelist Christine Shan, Evangelist Randall Duncan, as they proclaim the Word of God. You gotta be there, get the link. And come and enjoy powerful power pack preaching. Yes, you must get the link and send it to your friend. You must be there. You may locate flyer information on the North Jamaica Conference's Facebook page. General Conference Ministerial Secretary Dr. Jerry Page empowered the workers of North Jamaica Conference to continue to work faithfully for the Master even as they take care of their families. For a special developmental seminar held on Sunday, March 14, the Ministerial Secretary shared. What a blessing it is when our spouses are with us in ministry. I see Sandra there with Pastor Carlton. Uh, and we just pray that uh, many of you are having a wonderful experience in your families 
And we are a team, educators. And as a conference president, some of our best meetings were when the teachers got together with the pastors and we had a joint workers meeting, prayed for each other, talked about our different issues, and we we're all in, in ministry. And then, of course, the conference people as well. So we know there's grieving. We know there's loss. I don't know what you've gone through for sure. Uh, we heard of some of the challenges today. We know there's been a lot of uh, tension and stress in families. We'd be like Jesus, um, meek and mild, always protecting people, saving their self and not just protecting your own self. Also, human resource specialist, Mr. Harold Holmes, had words of advice to the workers of NJC. Brothers and sisters, whatever is happening to you, it is far better here than at Dovecot. Because at Dovecot, there is no stress. Nothing's happening. People are just waiting. They're waiting for the call to salvation or the call to damnation. They've already made their choices. What you want to do is to avoid, not stress, notice the second word, avoid unnecessary stress. The North Jamaica Conference presents Education Day 2021 on Sabbath, March 27, and you are invited to tune in under the theme, I Will Go for Adventist Christian Education. The guest speaker is Pastor Michael Henry, Education Director for the Jamaica Union Conference. Over 108 elders from North Jamaica Conference graduated from the Elders Certification Program held by the Jamaica Union in collaboration with the Inter-American Division. Some 500 elders graduated the program last Sabbath and North Jamaica Conference had the lion's share of those who graduated. We continue to pray and to empower our elders even as they prepare themselves to do greater ministry for the Lord Jesus Christ. And as the churches in North Jamaica Conference continue to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, souls are being won for the kingdom. Let's take a look at a couple of baptisms which took place last weekend in the Spring Garden and Salem District of Churches. In the water today, we have Sister Anisha Ricketts. She believes in the Word of God and she takes Jesus Christ as her personal savior from sin. As a result of this belief, and as a minister of the gospel, I will now baptize her in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the sweet Holy Spirit. Let the church say, Amen. 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 On each episode of the NJC Focus, we present to you NJC Obituaries, celebrating the saints who have passed across North Jamaica Conference. Let's take a look at the latest. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Let's keep these families in our prayers. And here are some important announcements for you to bear in mind.
And that's it for the latest edition of the NJC Focus. Remember to send us what's happening in your neck of the woods so that we can highlight your ministries right here. Send us your information by Wednesday of each week at communication at njcadventist.org, be it photos or videos of baptisms, distribution of care packages, and other important ministries as we continue to lift up Jesus Christ. Join us at the end of Journey of Faith for rebroadcast, as well as on NCU TV this evening and tomorrow morning. And join us again next week, same place, same time for another edition of NJC Focus. Until then, happy Sabbath.